Hello everyone, my name is John Malay Sondra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today I'm going to paint another winter uh, or some snow landscape. So I'm going to paint like a creek and I'm going to put some trees there, falling trees on the snow. So it will be something like that. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed it, and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notification my new videos and tutorial. Okay. Uh, you can see all the materials near the screen. You can see there the five limited colors, the brushes that we're gonna need, and all the things that we're going to use for this uh, tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to start now. And I'm gonna do first with a little uh, maybe sketching and then underpainting. That will be my usual steps. Okay, so yeah. I'll try to use uh, on this brush, this number two nylon flat brush. Maybe I will try to use some blue because it will be snow and mostly it will be like bluish or uh, light purple. So here I will try to put a quick but uh, I will try to sketch the horizon. Yeah, maybe the horizon will be here on the top part. So I want this uh, and so I will try to put the horizon on a little top. But I'm not sure uh, it might change my mind. <laughs> okay, so here I'll try to put, yeah, maybe I will uh, move here the horizon. Sorry, bro. And I will put the quick here. Yeah, maybe just a small uh, close up quick. Something like that. And there will be there will be some trees here falling, something like that. So I will make it uh detailed as possible and I'm gonna make a little uh yellowish background with the light here. So that will be my plan and I'm going to start now. Okay. Just very easy. To just be simple and easy okay I have here the yellow with a little red and then white Here's um, red with a little blue to make some purple and then white. There. So usually I try to do something like this for the background. Yeah. So be like an afternoon landscape. I'll try to put some uh, reddish and white or, or pink. Again, I'll try to apply this light purple. Try to erase the sketch, but it's hard to erase now. It's a problem. Try to use again this. yellowish tone there okay what I like about this uh, Berkeley canvas is that it's very very smooth 
okay so before uh, another tip everyone before you start adding some colors or yeah adding something like that you need to you need to spray it with water the canvas so that it will become wet and it will be easier for, for you to 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 drag the the brush with the paints and it will be easy for you to to mix okay so clean your brush and i have here some purples So red and the blue and then white. Yeah, I can we can apply a uh, dark color. But I need to make it uh, lighter also. Put some white and then here I have some uh, purple I'm gonna make it uh, like a background trees like the smoothness of this brush everyone it creates beautiful blend, uh, blending I can use more uh, reddish color so we can put something like uh, forest here So try to put some pine trees here but it, it will be like a uh, very very misty there you can just position your brush like that and you can create those uh, beautiful pine trees uh, realistic realistic pine trees even wet a little your brush then again you can put a little lighter here okay yeah looks better I have here some some raw umber. I'm gonna make it uh, like a color of the of the creek. everything here with the purple color maybe a little bluish just to make sure that uh, you feel everything and you cannot see the white backgrounds so I don't like to see these things I just want to make it look like an abstract everyone using this color there okay looks good
Okay, using this brush, you can create like this uh, abstract, like, like an abstract uh, work. Okay, so you can buy like this brush. It's very, very cheap kind of brush. I think it's 2.5 or 1.5 inch uh, brush. So yeah, I can rec recommend this one. Do not use too big because uh, we are using only small canvas unless you are using small canvas you can use bigger brush like this but uh, I recommend much better a uh, one inch uh, smaller than this one yeah okay that's it so I'm going to start adding some more details so I think uh, it's better to do a little more wet and wet yeah I'm not a cool fan of wet and wet but I think uh, it's better to try I'd like to use this color here with a little yellowish and white there and here there you can blend Okay, I like to put one big because I want to, I want to put some trees here. Maybe some I don't know what maybe come out. So I'll just try my best. There. Okay. So this will be a small creek here. Yeah, maybe I'll try to put uh, a little mountain here. There. Okay. Yeah, I'm also planning everyone while I'm doing because <laughs> I, I still don't know where to put those things there to make it look good, something like that. Uh, I want also to put here, yeah, I want to put some, a lot of trees here. So maybe I'll do like that. Okay, so I will also use some light purple first. Oh, no, not per second. <laughs> so here I have blue on the red and the white. There.
Okay. So I think I'm gonna make it more bluish. I'm gonna put some blue. There. So yeah, I'll try to put some bluish. So this bluish thing, everyone, that means that uh, the sun doesn't hit directly in this part. So it looks bluish. There. I'll try to make it a little lighter. Let's see here. Because this is a mountainous part, everyone, so I'm gonna keep on trying to put some, some lights there on the back part. Maybe a little bluish light, blue and the white, yeah. So I'm not focusing now everyone because uh, I'm going to fill everything first with the details so I don't want to uh, I just want to focus on the big area first before I'm gonna start uh, the smaller details now. to blend a little bit to put some lights there so you can see now that everything uh, is no yeah yeah, no, I like also the background light, everyone. It looks uh, really um, tranquility or, yeah, tranquil or something like that. So I don't want to fill everything with the lights because I want to show you the how to create those beautiful lights even if everything is white. So it's a little hard for this part. That's why, that's why I'm going to show you how to put those yellowish or warm light on the snow so we are doing this one we are adding the warm lights on the cold color of the snow 
it is the bluish or purple so that's why i'm using bluish color for the snow and then the highlights will be white and and something like and what they call this white and orange yeah okay so i'm going to now i'm going to put now um the trees first i will be using a smaller brush number two flat brush i'm excited to put those trees everyone because i want to put a lot of trees because this is a forest so to put some trees there not just some but a lot of trees so again i'm gonna use purple blue red and the yeah, raw umber I want this one to be a big tree. Actually, you can use now a smaller brush for this part, for the branches. Put some darks also here. So I'll play darker color. Yeah, I want to put some some trees here so everyone. Okay. Then here we run. I will try to put more also here.
will put more bigger trees everyone was my UPS <laughs> sorry so I'm gonna put more see here also I'm gonna put more darks these are some plants or rocks that are still exposed and then I will try to make my uh, river a little more uh, reddish or brownish so I'm gonna apply blue I uh, know red and rumber That's also here. Okay, so it's uh, clear now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna focus uh, on the upper part. Okay, yeah, and the color one, I like the color is so tranquil, so soft, like that. Okay, so I'm going to put more uh, branches there. So I like to put a lot of branches to to make it look uh, more realistic so I don't want to uh, make it look few so the same color everyone is dark reddish color or umber I try to put blue on the red.
the more branches you can put everyone the uh, better it, it will become So using this, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention my brush. Using the number uh, zero liner brush or round brush, you can create uh, beautiful branches. Make sure that the branch, everyone, are small enough. There. Okay, I'll put more everyone. Also, I can put uh, one tree here, longer tree. Okay. Also here, I'm going to put more. So as you can see here, Ron, uh, it's a lot of uh, branches now. I like to see those branches. It's a lot there.
there so as you can see here everyone is so busy look like an abstract on the right side so you can see all those uh, branches there all the things that will make it much more looking great and realistic and it looks very very simple as you can see there but uh, those details will make it look good okay and I will try to put one tree here like that it, it, it's uh, but I will put it later and then I'm gonna put here some branches also Make sure that I uh, use a pointed brush everyone because it can create their uh, beautiful tinier details uh, or it can create uh, beautiful uh, branches it, it will look like a uh, realistic It will look like uh, it look it will look creepy, everyone. But uh, later on, I can apply those snow. It looks creepy because uh, there's no there's no snow there, or there's no still uh, there are no leaves, so it will look creepy. there yeah it looks good the windows random small branches it will it will look it will make it look good
Okay. So it looks pretty busy now, everyone. It looks good. Can uh, put some brownish color or grease or. Or, I mean, those uh, small bushes here. You can create, uh, you can use brownish color. Okay, there. So you can see now it looks pretty good. Yeah, so far I like this part, everyone. I like those uh, trees there. I like those uh, colors. It looks, uh, the background looks good. It's simple and looking good. Now I'm going to start putting the, the snow, everyone, on the branches. Yeah, and also the lights, very, very important. So yeah, I'm going to start putting on the snow. I will be using just a little bigger brush. This number two nylon flat brush, smallest flat brush I have, a little bigger than the, uh, not a little bit, but bigger than the brown brush. Again, I'm gonna mix for purple, red, and the blue, yeah, and then white. Maybe a little bluish. I'll start for, first with the dark tones or colors. here there also here okay and also here on the body part some also snows will be hit there something like that and then also one this one here Be careful, some parts are still wet. Can make it a little lighter and also here. Uh, you can put a lot on the top everyone some snows there on the on the, on the branches this that will make uh, it more looking like realistic especially this bluish color there or purple color
here okay slowly everyone just slowly i want us to take my time it's almost one hour but i am good in i'm i am in good uh process because uh i i finished this part even uh still not one hour so i'm a little fast now <laughs> so compared to uh i mean uh continue adding some more purple things on the top of the branches a light purple colors Looks good, everyone. The snows are looking real. Looks like that uh, the snow is really on the top of the trees or on the branches, something like that. So it looks good for me. It looks uh, very busy and looks good. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we we'll continue on this part. I'm gonna put a little more blue and white okay so here we're gonna put more snow on the body part also some shades here there that's why i'm using smaller brush everyone because I can create those tinier details better or uh, those uh, snow part or those bluish color on the top of the branches or those snow on the top of the branches. You can also use the smaller brush, uh, the number 2 nylon flat brush, it's also good. So here I'll try to put more. Okay. So usually there are uh, gaps on the tree or branches or trunk that the snow will be. Uh, but uh, you can s see the snow on the top there, on the on, on its top. So it's kind of hard to explain, but I'm just a good obser observant, so I just observe things. I never been in a snow country. So I just uh, see it from the photos, and it looks like that. So I just copy it and just put it there. adding a little white to make it a little lighter so 
so you can do it all of it all of the parts everyone of the white or the or the branches you can do get put all the snow there on top but since um, maybe it will finish my time so I'll just put some of it maybe not all of it there Okay, there you go, yeah, okay, I'm going to clean my brush, so here again, uh, red and the white, uh, the yellow, and then white. It's a light orange, everyone. It's like a flesh color. I'm gonna use this as the highlights. I'm gonna put my yellow. There. There, looks good. Yeah. Also here. Some parts will be hit by the sunlight. First. some white here I can also use the smaller brush if this brush is too big for you actually it is too big for me also I like the lights here. And also here, I'll try to put some lights. Hit by the here. I don't know if there's sun there. Yeah, maybe I'll, I will put now some uh, sun there, sun on this part, so that uh, we can emphasize the light. So the light is really looking good. And even the uh, the colors are look, looking good there. The, the trees looking good. So everything looks good, everyone. So I like it. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to use uh, again this brush. It's a smallest br number zero liner brush. So I will now put some, yeah, some yellowish light or red. put it here
ya. Put some, I will also put some light here, some uh, some highlights on the tree so that you can see it has it has seen, it, it's been hit by the lights on the center. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, you can see now everyone that uh, the light is really on the center and it's looking good. I think I really want to put the lights there. So I think I'm going to put it here. And I want it to use white, just a pure white for that. Maybe here. Okay. So I'll blend. I'll try to blend. So at least uh, you can see now that there's a sun on that part. Okay. Yeah. So maybe that will be good. Okay, and I'm going to show everyone so I cannot stop these motorcycles. Uh, thinking that they are they having two lives. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll try to put more. Just plain it here. Okay. 
Yeah, later I'll try to put uh, some more sun rays. Yeah, maybe that will be uh, enough, something like that. So now I'm going to start adding some uh, reflections, reflections and other things that will make it much more realistic. I'm going to put a tree here. Yeah, one tree here. Uh, just doing something like that. So yeah, I will be using. Sorry everyone, I cannot stop these movements. Okay. So here I have the rue umber. The red and the blue. I'm gonna put a tree here. Yeah, something like that. So yeah, it's a different thing that I'm doing. I did before. So I don't want to always do the same thing. Okay, this dark thing here, I will try to put. Okay, and I will try to put some uh, water reflections. So I will uh, put the sun, of course. So here, I will put the water reflections. So I have here the yellow and the red. Then white, more yellow, yeah. I'll try to make it more orange. Just drag it down, everyone, like this. So just drag it down everyone.
there. Yeah. Okay, at least uh, you can see now the reflection coming from the sky. Okay, again everyone, I'm going to put more. So here. Okay, so I'm gonna put white and yellow. And I'm gonna put the reflection here. but, but uh, I need to work more here <laughs> yeah so yeah I will make it uh, much more lesser something like that blend it uh, more yeah, but before that I'm gonna mix for another reflection uh, light purple just blue red and white Just put like that. Just drag it down everyone like that. to blend more yeah using the raw umber with a little yellow and red so I want the bottom part to look red everyone
Okay. And some blue umber here. I will try to make this darker. Just think uh, we need more retouch here, everyone, because I want it to look more realistic. Okay, and now it's time to put more lights there. I want to put more lights. Yeah, maybe white everyone. I want to emphasize this thing here. here I can put some some white lines to make it more to make it look more uh, realistic water then drag drag it down like this Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make it a little lesser because I think it's too much. Yeah, it's too much for me. So I need to I need to lessen that part. Using some yellowish color and white or light orange. Okay, and I'm gonna put some white here. It's a reflection of the water from the sun. Yeah, yeah, I think that looks good. Looks, the reflection looks nice. 
and I think the uh, the tree is already dried so I think it's time to put uh, details on the tree yeah wait I'm gonna make this light here there okay this it's a uh, it's complementing on this on the on the reflection and now i'm going to mix another purple blue and the red and then i'm gonna put some white then i'm gonna put it here on the top of this old Tree uh, blue and the white. there Okay. So I'm gonna put more everyone here. I'm gonna put uh snows on the on the body of the tree. There. So just easy everyone, I think this uh painting the snow is just very easy in the process. You don't need to to uh, many things hard so I think it's very easy everything is white and gray <laughs> as uh, unless you're gonna put something like the Sun it will be yellowish but mostly it's just white and gray here Okay, so again, I will try to put the highlights. I want to hit uh, this by the great yellowish light. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna use some white. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna refill some white first. And then put it here on the top. Just 
going to be hit by the lights here. Also here. You see, wait, 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 I'm going to there. Okay, I will let you see everything. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. It's just very simple and looking good. Now, wait, I'm going to put some uh, reflected lights here on the bottom part on the bottom part of the tree so I will be using uh, raw umber and white with a little yellow there This is some light there. Maybe a little white. I think I'm gonna make it lighter. This might be the light of the sun everyone heating, uh, reflecting from the water, so we can see some lights there. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you everything, uh, what we come out today. Okay, yeah, and now I, I, I will be in the process of retouching. So, yeah, I'm going to retouch and I'm gonna put some lights now and I will be finished. Okay, so it's just very simple. I like the contrast everyone. This painting is, is really high contrast. See so white and yellowish. some white there I'll put a lighter color here okay yeah i think i am done everyone so the painting is very simple but the light is so good i like those cold and warm color mixing together and can create a masterpiece like this so it's very very good and so far i'm very, very uh, happy with the result and i hope also you are happy and you can get uh, you can learn something out of this you can you can create you can you can learn and you can also paint your own uh, uh, winter landscape and you can copy this one everyone if you want to you can learn many things uh, while copying this one and you can apply it on your own also okay so yeah i am very very satisfied just very simple 
uh, it's not perfect but it's just very very simple I like the uh, those reflections I like the Sun I like those slides so yeah okay everyone so I wanna say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors of your palette because I want you to learn to know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God be sure. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.